besties, welcome back to another video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be talking about scents that made me fall in love with perfumery. They pretty much started it all for me. They made me realize that the world of fragrance is wonderful, fascinating, it's exciting, but most importantly, challenging. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. I'm going to start off with probably one of the most despised fragrances on the planet. Angel by Thierry Mugler. Guys, I cannot even tell you how much I love this fragrance. This fragrance started it all for me. This was the moment when I knew I always want to smell like this. This used to be my signature scent for six years. So that itself shows you my love for it. When I was 19 years old, I'm gonna try to be quick with this story. When I was 19 years old, I used to work as a receptionist with these two ladies. One day, one of them was like, you know, my husband only buys me Angel for my birthday. And I was like, Angel, what's that? A few days later, I walked into the Sephora store. I sprayed it on my skin. I remember the moment I smelled it, I was like, you gotta be mine. It was love at first sniff. I was like, this is what I want to smell like. I rocked the scent for six years, every single day. This used to be my signature scent for six years when I was a student. To me, this smell is just iconic. This exudes confidence. It's bold, it's loud, it's deep, it's complex. It's a patchouli bomb and i think that's what made me fall in love with fragrances that patchouli facet about this fragrance i made so many amazing memories with it being a broke student but at least i smelled iconic later on when angel muse came out in 2016 my friend who at that time worked at sephora introduced me to this fragrance and I usually am very skeptical about flankers for some reason but when it comes to Angel Muse I was like why is it so good? I remember it was winter time I was wearing this long heavy coat and I sprayed it on my scarf and I fell in love with the scent. Again my signature scent number two I used to rock it for years. I had to buy a backup bottle because I heard that it's getting discontinued. So I will cherish these two bottles for as long as I can because this scent is absolutely amazing. It smells very niche to me. I'm very surprised that you know, it's a designer fragrance that smells so unique because usually designer fragrances, they tend to smell a little bit like one another. At that time, it seemed to be so groundbreaking of a fragrance that gourmand vetiver, pink pepper, whipped cream, hazelnut cream. It seemed so different. I still do think that this is a very unique composition for a designer launch. I love it. It's gonna be in my collection forever. Next up we have Miss Delina from Parfums de Marly. <laughs> I love her so much. She is the one that really did introduce me to the world of niche fragrance. Angel and Angel Muse, they made me fall in love with patchouli and gourmands. This, however, is all I want and all I expect from feminine fragrance. She is just the queen of feminine fragrances. Like, I never knew that I would be so into feminine energy, but apparently I am because she makes me feel like my best self. She makes me feel happy, feminine, not really sexy. It's not a sexy kind of a fragrance to me. She's playful, okay? She's playful, but not in a juvenile way. Zesty, tart, and sour note of lychee and rhubarb, a game changer. Next, I have to mention this masterpiece of a fragrance, and that is Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall. I'm usually obsessed with Dominique Rupion's creations, but this is just breathtaking. I said it in the previous video, but I'll say it again. To me, this fragrance is like entering a cathedral from 13th century. This is a time machine. Like when I smell it, I feel like I travel in time. Hell no, I'm not in the 21st century anymore. 
There's no way. It smells vintage to me, but not old. It doesn't smell outdated or, you know, anything that has bad connotations. It just smells like a work of art, like something that you look at and you know that a lot of work and a lot of effort has been put into creating it. When I smell Portrait of a Lady, I almost can smell the hard work, the craftsmanship. It smells so finished, so well thought out, this fragrance. Don't hate me for this one, okay? Sandal 33 by the House of Lillabo. We all know 2018, 2019, the entire Instagram was flooded with pictures of Sandal 33. I know. And I even told myself before I walked into the Lillabo boutique here in Singapore, I was like, hey, if you want to get a fragrance from Lillabo, stay away from Sandal 33, unless you want to be like any other chick on Instagram. Just be a little bit more unique. Okay, so I smelled pretty much every single fragrance that they had. Nothing really wowed me besides another 13, the Noir 29, and I really enjoyed Bergamot 22. So I saved Santo 33 for last. I sprayed it on the tester strip, and then the sale assistant was like, Hey, what are you doing? Spray it on your skin. So I did. And that was a big, big mistake because that was the moment I fell in love madly. I was like, Yep, this is it. I know it's gonna sound a little crazy right now, but Santal 33 is literally everything I had always wanted in a fragrance. I am lucky enough to say that I don't get any freaky notes here. My skin receives only what's the best from this scent. It's hot and spicy and woody and dry and just projecting like crazy, crazy projection and longevity from Sandal 33. Like it lasts forever on my skin and clothes. If I didn't shower for days, it would just be on my skin and I would just rock Sandal 33 for days and days and days to come. But obviously, I shower. I just love how cool it smells. It's my signature scent. I've been rocking it since 2021 probably this is my third fourth bottle if not fifth the reason why i'm not scared to say that i love sandal 33 because i really do believe that different scents smell really differently on everybody you have to sample everything on your skin first to know whether it's going to work or not and like i said it's everything that i had always wanted in a fragrance because i really love woody scents i really love spices dry touches i love that sandalwood here for instance it's not creamy it's not soft but it's dry crunchy the papyrus cedar cardamom it's just a die for it's the most perfect woody scents for my skin we made it to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching Please let me know if there are any fragrances that inspire you to love and appreciate perfumery. I'm really curious, so please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Please leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!